Good morning, everyone, my fellow moms and moms-to-be and partners as well who are watching. Thank you so much for joining us again. Friday and snowy and cold in Chicago. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. 70 degrees last week. Where is the warm weather again? Sun gods, please bring it to us. Anyway, I'm Courtney Marquez with Net Medical Services here. You have been seeing my face a lot lately. Hello. And you will continue to see my face a lot more on um, every Friday. We're going to start doing something we're going to be calling from bump to pump. We're going to be talking kind of all things in between bump and pump. So whether it be some breastfeeding topics, some pregnancy topics, definitely pump topics, um, all things in between. So in the medical services, we are located in Illinois and we ship insurance covered breast pumps directly to your door in Illinois and Wisconsin moms. We will help you out. We also have maternity accessories. Um, so if you need anything, let us know. We will help you out. But today I wanted to talk about a um, blog post that we recently published and it's more about cleaning parts. So the other day, I know she's on, Elizabeth and I were talking about this. So um, we're kind of going to talk about the do's and don'ts of hand washing and pump parts, cleaning and all the things. And I think, you know, we really just want to bring it down to the simple fact of washing our hands. I think something that we've been taking for granted for so long, we're learning now in a pandemic or not that hand washing is so, so, so important. So when we're, when we're pumping and breastfeeding and newborn baby life and toddler life and all the things, our hands get really dirty. We touch a lot of things. So I think my number one tip to be honest is nails. Keep your nails clipped short. And if they're not short, we really need to be scrubbing under the nails and washing our hands very consistently because we can easily go from, I'm gonna say it, changing a poopy diaper to pumping or breastfeeding within the next minute. And we really need to make sure we're washing our hands, keeping our nails short. If your nails are not short, that's fine. Make sure you're scrubbing underneath of them. I think that's very important and something sometimes we forget when we're um, you know, just so rushing and busy. But when we're pumping and breastfeeding and doing all the things, sometimes our brains just get a little like oh, out of control. So let's number one is wash your hands. Wash your hands before you breastfeed or breast pump. Wash them good. Under the nails, up, probably up to here. We're scrubbing good. A good soap that you like. Go ahead and get your pump session in. I know Elizabeth mentioned this and we, we have it in our blog as well about getting another set of parts. That's probably the best and easiest thing that you can do to help yourself from having to wash breast pump parts all the time. Pumping is one thing and it's a lot of work, but cleaning the parts is another thing and we know that is even more work and even more time consuming and sometimes the most frustrating part of it all um i know when i was pumping years ago and working i would be traveling i was in sales so i would be pumping in bathrooms and places that i didn't have a choice i'd have to so i would quickly try to do what i could in a mesh bag so taking a mesh bag and putting my parts in there and, and just washing them with the soap and water that they had you know right there putting them in another bag and then when i got home i was doing the, the process all over again. So whether you're home, you're at work, you're in the car, wherever you're pumping, I think we need to be extra cautious. Whether we're in a pandemic or not, these are really good tips, I think, just to remember to wash hands, get a mesh bag if you have, to put all the parts in. If you're not able to clean them right away or just even rinse them with water, put them in a bag so you don't lose them and we can get home and we can get them cleaned. So say we're pumping at home and we can definitely get them cleaned right away. We just need, I would just do a big bowl of warm or hot soapy water, a soap that you prefer. I would choose something that has no dyes, no fragrance, no colors, nothing added. Um, something that's very safe, that we're gonna, that's just a good soap. And maybe get some bubbles going in there, throw our parts in there, let that sit for a little bit. The tubing, if you have a closed system breast pump, you should have nothing in your tubing. So your tubing shouldn't really need to be cleaned. You might want to rinse rinse it off on the outside, but I wouldn't I wouldn't get the tubing wet because then you are going to risk getting water and other things stuck into that tubing which then are going to dry. So if you're using a closed system pump, I wouldn't worry about the tubing. Maybe every couple of weeks or months if you are noticing something in it, if you have an open system pump, I would definitely buy new tubing. I wouldn't boil it or clean it necessarily. I would just buy new tubing. 
but if you're using a closed system pump, you should be safe with your tubing. So just keep an eye on your tubing. And again, if even if the closed system pump tubing is looking a little icky or you're noticing or you got it wet and you have some condensation or something inside, uh, you could use like a, maybe a, a skinny bottle straw cleaner and get it in there and let it air dry or buy new tubing. Um, from there, I feel like I would let it let it sit in the soapy water for a while. If you have any like bottle brushes or again, those straw, you know, cleaning brushes, get the parts cleaned really well. Um, I know Elizabeth has one of these. I believe she has the, the Wabi Baby. Um, Elizabeth is our good friend over at Baby Buddha and she's also at one ounce at a time. So you can go check her out. She's amazing. Um, but we had just talked about this the other day. So it's kind of front of mind for me, but it's, it's a sanitizing system. So I know that's something you can do once a day or even like once every few days um, after you've already washed with soap and water. So we definitely need to be washing our parts with soap and water and then setting them out to dry. So I would set them out to dry and let them really, really air dry. Um, now I know when I, you do have the Wabi UV, UV and steam. Okay, cool. I know there is like one or two maybe different options. Um, and I was just researching, researching it and it looks great. And I know it's, it's sold as a bottle cleaner, steamer, sanitizer, but you're, it looks very large and you can definitely fit your breast pump parts in there. If you can budget a Wabi, I highly recommend it. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that's the thing. If you're getting a free breast pump through your insurance, through Net Medical Services, and you do have a little bit of disposable income, my top things would be buy some extra parts for your pump right away. Your, your flanges, you don't really not necessarily need more flanges, but I, if you could, I would get another set of the flange size that you use a lot. Definitely get some more valves because those you need to replace anyway about once a month. Um, and another thing is if you're cleaning them, the reason why we're suggesting a big, like a big heavy size bowl with soap and water in there is because you don't wanna put your breast pump parts right into the sink. Um, I mean, you're, you're pouring food and all we wash our hands in the sink, all sorts of things are sitting in that sink. So we want to make sure we're using a bowl, a bucket, something that's keeping the, the parts away from directly touching the sink. Also with the little valves that are inside, um, the bottles, I don't have my breast pump parts over there, but the duck bill valves, they call them, they're pretty, pretty small. They've actually made them bigger over the years, but sometimes they fall down the drain. And I know with mine, um, I would lose them down the drain. And once they went down the drain, I was kind of done with that. So unless I could find it in there, but I remember sometimes turning on the dishwasher or I mean the disposable later in the afternoon and I'd hear it in there spinning and I knew I was completely done. So use a bowl or something to put your parts into it. Soap and water, let it sit, clean really good, let it dry. She's saying one ounce at a time, this is our friend Elizabeth. She's saying you can use both for sterilization um, of many things. You, you can use, oh, your phone or anything can fit inside of it. Oh, that's super cool toys and such. Yes, I was reading that people are using the Wabi system and Aneb Medical is not sponsoring any of this. Um, we're not sponsoring Wabi or any of the other systems that I might talk about. Um, this is just education for you guys and to really let you kind of do your own research. But I know there's so many products out there in the market and so many things that don't get talked about that are really great items um, to help breastfeeding and breast pumping moms. And I know this is one of them. So, so we're definitely going to do that. Um, I would also not use your kitchen sponges or anything. I would definitely get a separate, you know, bottle brush or like I said, the little um, straw bottle brush cleaner as well and keep that separate as like your breast pumping parts. Um, don't use your sink sponges to clean your parts. Just FYI. Um, I know sometimes we can be in, in a hurry, but don't do that. Um, and don't put your parts away when they're still wet. I really suggest getting a, a big towel or something separate that can sit not again not your dish towel you've been using to wipe counters down or wipe your other things down or dry your hands with get a new brand new clean towel open it up and set your parts on there i know a long time ago when i was breast pumping they had like the boon with the grass and the little stems and you could hang your stuff on there whatever you're using is fine just make sure it's kind of away from all the other stuff that it has some space that it can dry and that it's not touching other things don't use bottle, oh, don't use bottle brushes with sponges. That's a good idea. Yes, yes. So yes, there's two different type of bottle brushes. One is brush, and then one has the sponges on the heads. Don't use a sponge. So in general, I guess we're just saying, don't use a sponge. Um, sponges in general can just hold a lot of bacteria. Um, actual brushes with the bristles, I think those are much safer, and you can also kind of sanitize those, clean those, 
pour some vinegar and let those sit for a while, boil some water and clean those out a little bit, but no sponges, we're saying. I think that's, um, I think that's a good idea. Um, let's see here. I know a lot of breast pump companies as well will, can you know, sell you products. They have some spray and some cleaning. They sell their own soaps. They sell mesh bags. They sell whatever. They sell um, the microwavable bags that you can put your parts in for sanitizing. Um, if they sell it, and it's, it's from the manufacturer, I think all that is probably safe and a good choice for you to use. Again, I'm not recommending hacking or using other, other products that aren't associated with your breast pump, but we have seen that there are some really outstanding products out there that really do work. Um, so I would definitely check with the manufacturer of your breast pump first to see what they offer and what they have, and if they don't have it, then definitely go in. You could probably find some other things online that would work. Most bottles um, that your breast milk is being pumped into these days are standard size of a wide neck or, or the smaller neck. So you can find different items on Amazon probably that actually will fit on to your bottle. And what I'm meaning by that is like, if you're actually wanting to pump into bags rather than pumping into your bottles and having to do another transfer, they have systems. So there is a whole system, again, called the Kind system that I know a lot of women use, and I've actually recommended it to a couple of our moms um, to use as well. And it will fit on your breast pumps, flanges, and you're gonna pump directly into the bags and you can actually feed directly from the bags as well. So there's no more milk transfer. Once you've pumped into those bags, you're good to go. That is super cool. You can also look into the, again, the brand of pump that you get. Some of our brands actually do have bags that you can pump directly into. And if not, I know there are some other very affordable systems that you can get that that have, you just wanna get the size of head of your bottle, screw it on, and then you can attach some bags to the bottom if that's you know a very affordable and simple way. Seal up the bag and stick it straight in the freezer right away. Um, we have to remember too that you know, depending on how old your baby is, the gestation of your baby, if your baby is very young, um, was born premature, still in the hospital, whatever, all these things, we need to be extra cautious when we are pumping breast milk and breastfeeding these babies. So when we have a full-term baby who's a little bit older, you know, and breastfeeding as well as breast pumping, their immune system could be a little bit stronger than these very small babies. So we need to be extra cautious. So washing hands, hand sanitizer, maybe even using some alcohol, sanitizing our parts after we are washing them. So if we're back to that Wabi system, and if um, Elizabeth's still on, you can say yes or no, but I believe that we're actually washing them with soap and water first. So all of your parts, soap and water first, letting them dry, and then putting them into the Wabi sterilizing system later on in the day. Um, I know back in the day for me, I would just boil, boil my parts, and you know, right as you get them out of the box, when we send you your free breast pump, I recommend taking them out of the box and either sterilizing them or boiling them in some water. However, if you're boiling them a lot, the products are gonna to start to break down a little bit quicker. So again, having that extra or, or extra couple sets of flanges and tubing and parts that go into your, your breast pump, I think are going to be a really good idea, especially in times like this. Um, so we have all that and let's see what else. Tubing, we kind of talked about tubing, easy clean steam bags. So all your brands of pumps, no matter what you're getting, have products that they sell to go with their brand. So I would highly recommend doing that first. Whatever breast pump that you're choosing, go on their website, call the manufacturer, check out our website. We have all the extra um, parts and flanges and things to get you kind of going because it's gonna depend as well, are you mainly breastfeeding and breast pumping once a week or are you full-time breast pumping? And, and moms who are full-time breast pumping, definitely need more parts. You're, you're not gonna be able to keep up with cleaning and, and then cleaning all the parts and then waiting for it to dry to then use it again. And you don't wanna breast pump when, you're, when your flanges and your tubing and everything are, not your tubing, but your, your valves and your back flows are, all, are still damp or wet. I don't recommend that. You really want them to be extremely dry. That way you know that they are clean and ready to go and nothing is going to get transferred off. So. If there's any questions, um, let us know. But I kind of just wanted to top, touch on that topic today because obviously we're in this new world right now. And, um, you know, hopefully we're here to stay with the whole hand washing and the cleaning thing. Again, and when we have little babies, we just need to remember to be extra cautious and take extra steps to clean and be very careful. And especially with babies, I keep doing this, but short nails, 
really cleaning under the nails are good because I can tell you many times when I went from you know, changing diapers to breastfeeding right away or breast pumping or cleaning things or something spills or someone needs something and your hands, your hands get so dirty and we touch so many things. So keep some hand sanitizer around if you can find any right now and definitely make sure we're washing properly and getting in, in your duct bill valve, squeeze it and make sure you're getting in between those little cracks and just getting it nice and clean and letting it air dry so that everything dries and there's no condensation left still on your parts. You don't wanna put parts away that are wet. Um, again, when you're pumping in the car or, like I used to have to pump in bathrooms when I was in sales working and pumping, get a bag, get a mesh bag, get something that you can store everything in and note to self, go straight to a big warm bottle of soapy water when you get home. And again, I already said this, but make sure you're using a soap that is good, that would be safe, safe for baby. Baby safe, probably no colors, no fragrance. Um, I think all that's important when we're breastfeeding in general, just to respect baby, respect mother, and kind of cut down on the fragrances. And, and remember that everything we're putting on our skin and into our body is, is going into our breast milk. So we're exposed to so many chemicals as it is every day that taking that exposure down a little bit by definitely using a, a soap that's very mild and is I think a good thing. So then we're cleaning our breast pump parts with it that's directly touching our breast, which is directly being in contact with our milk. So just a couple things to, to remind you on, but I think that's all I really have today. Um, check out the CDC website right now. They're, they're recommending you clean your parts often and wash your hands, of course. We've been hearing that. But if anyone has any questions, let me know. Send them to me. If not, we can. I'll put another slide up next if there's any questions or anything that I missed. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So best of luck to you if you're in Chicago. Good luck with the snow. Our sun gods, please bring us some sun so we can get over the snow. And if you're anywhere else, I hope you're doing well. And we will see you next Monday. Um, we are doing another giveaway next week for a breast pump. We will be giving away the Zomi. So stay tuned as we um, announce the Baby Buddha giveaway winner soon. Thank you so much for everyone who entered in and shared. And it's an awesome pump. So I'm excited for whoever wins that. Next week is another awesome breast pump, the Zomi. So I'll be on next week talking all things Zomi breast pump. And keep a lookout for that giveaway as well because we will be giving that away next week. Take care. Happy Friday. We'll see you guys soon.